Hi everyone and welcome to the Laser Channel where we learn, create, and share. My name is Greg and in this video I'm going to be engraving this hard maple coin using the Laser Pecker 5 connected up to the safety enclosure. This maple coin is going to be engraved with the contact information for my friend over at JJ's Woodworking. He goes to a lot of craft shows and he displays and sells a lot of really nice looking wood turning projects. I'll have his links and social links down in the video description for you to check out. Or don't, that's entirely up to you. Once again, the machine that I'm going to be using is the Laser Pecker 5. It features a dual laser source of 20 watts of laser diode power and 20 watts of fiber laser. The enclosure is going to block all of the scatter light during this project and it also has a really highly accurate camera system built into it. If you'd like to know more about any of this stuff, of course, I'll have some links down in the video description, along with a link to a video just on all the features of the safety enclosure, because there's a ton of cool stuff built into this enclosure. With that, we're now ready to jump into the computer and check out the graphics for today's quick project. The software that I'm going to be using is included with the machine. It's free and it's feature packed. Connection up to the machine is going to be fast and easy. I'll click on this red box. Brings up a submenu and because I'm using the safety enclosure, I do need to connect using the Wi-Fi and that pops up right away. A few short seconds later and I'm already connected up to the machine. Now let's go and import the file that I've already started for today's project. The graphics pretty straightforward. JJ Van Paris, Vans Woodworking with his contact number down below. The next steps that I'm going to do is pretty straightforward. I'm going to highlight the artwork and I want to make sure it's centered within my uh, workspace here. And then when I go to place the wooden coin within the safety enclosure, I want to make sure that it's placed directly underneath the LP5 machine. I'm doing this for two reasons. The first one is this is generally the best practice when using this global type laser, which is the LP5. And the second is it's going to give me the best accuracy for the camera built in to the safety enclosure. I'll click the preview button and it's going to give me an outline of the circle in the form of a box for framing. And then I'm also going to set the focus of the laser machine at the same time. There's a red ribbon hanging down. As a reminder to myself to remove the lens cover off the machine, I attach this ribbon myself. I'll get that placed in there. That looks pretty good right there. And maybe we can see it, but there's going to be two red dots on top of my work material. A right, quick camera adjustment. Now we can see the two red dots. Those are my focusing dots and I can use the up down buttons on the safety enclosure to set the focus. So I'll move this down just a little bit. And perfect. It's just that easy to set the focus on the machine. I'll close the door and we'll jump back into the software and continue the project. This next part's really cool. I'm going to click on the camera refresh. We're going to load in a new image with that coin placed within the work area and check that out. I did a pretty good job of placing the work material in there. And let's zoom in a little bit here and I can just grab my artwork now and get it perfectly centered up. And yeah, it's just that easy. I've got perfect alignment. I'm going to switch over to my settings for today's project. Resolution is going to be at 1K. I use this the bulk of the time. One pass is all that's needed. I'm going to set the power level at 85% and the depth of the engraving. I'm going to move this over to about 50%. In fact, I can just type in 50%. That all looks good. And I'm going to turn on the air purifier and we'll get this project rolling. I'll set up a camera and we'll watch a little video montage of this coin being engraved. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, that took just a couple of seconds for that engraving. Before I remove it from the enclosure, I do want to head back into the software and I want to update that camera view because I want to check the accuracy of the graphic in the computer versus where it actually engraved on my material. We'll check that out right now. And check this out. This looks absolutely perfect. I can see across the bottom here with the number that is off just a tiny little bit, but across the center here, Vans Woodworking and JJ Van Paris, that is absolutely spot on. But the main point is that I'm able to take my graphic and I've got a great visual of the work material and I can get it perfectly aligned, especially for these smaller works. When we talk about the LP5 and the fiber laser, that's gonna be great for doing a lot of jewelry and a lot of that, necklaces, rings, and earrings tend to be pretty small. So being off by a little bit actually shows up on those small projects a lot. Having this camera system is an excellent way for me to get that perfect alignment. Let's get that project out and take a close up look with the main camera. This looks perfect and check out all of the crisp detail that I got from the LP5. Yeah, I'm still amazed at the amount of detail and the speed that today's laser machines are able to achieve. I hope that you enjoyed this quick, short project. It's pretty easy to make with the software and the machine. And I hope that you'll join me in future videos on the laser channel. Don't forget to show this video some love by giving it a like, subscribe to the channel, or ring that notification bell. Not only is it a great way to help the laser channel grow, it's an excellent way to connect video content like this with other great viewers just like you. Well, until we meet again in the next video, learn, create, and share.